Bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Mr. Oh, 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 Lord. Oh, Lord. Thought you was going to rest. You've been good to me. I was just sitting there thinking, looking back over my life, and you've been good to me. When I was down to my last dime, Lord, you made a way for me. Every time, Lord, you brought me, oh, oh, you brought me from a mighty long way. Oh, oh, Lord, I just wanted to say it again. Oh, Lord. Lord, you've been so good to me. When I was sitting there thinking, looking back over my life, and you've been good, good to me. When I was down, to my last dime, Lord, you stepped in, you stepped in right on time. Say, Lord, you brought me, oh, you brought me from a mighty long way. Oh. Brought me from a mighty long way. Oh Lord, you brought me from a mighty long way. Oh, 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 oh you brought me. Lord, you brought me. You kept me. You held me. Oh, I say thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your health and strength. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lord, you brought me, brought me from a mighty, brought me from a mighty long. Way. Glory to God. Anybody in there could relate to that? Glory to God. Did he bring you from a mighty long way? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Open your Bibles. Please stand on your feet. Open your Bibles to the book of Psalms. The book of Psalms. The book of Psalms. Let me reiterate, let me state again because this is solid rock. And that is that Psalms has no chapters. Psalms has no chapters. And it only has five divisions. Glory to God. Now, when somebody get up and say something differently, don't y'all say nothing. Just you know. Has five divisions and no psalms, but every, excuse me, and no book, no chapters, but every one of these is a psalm in the book of psalms. Everybody got that? Glory to God. And so I want you to join with me today as I read the 27th psalm. The 27th psalm. Now, I was just going to read a little bit of it to kind of go along with the message, but as I was kept reading and reading on the ivory, glory to God, looked like the Lord was saying, and, and read that scripture too. And, and read that scripture too. And add that to it. Glory to God. The Lord made it very clear that this is 
the message, the word of the Lord. And so if you'll turn to 27th Psalm, and it says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. What does it say? When the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, my enemies and my foes, they did what? Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war rise against me, in this will I be confident. What does it say? And that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord when? To behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret place. Somebody shout secret place. In the secret place of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. And what else he going to do? Set me up on our mind, say, set me high rock. Set me high on the rock. Glory to God. Somebody shout above it all. Verse number six, and now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies all around me. Glory to God. Therefore, I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises Unto the Lord. Verse number seven says, Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy upon me and do what? God, when I call on you, please speak back to me. Glory to God. When you, when you said, seek my face, my heart said what? Yeah, yeah, y'all was a little, little late on that take up. Glory to God. I'm going to give you another chance because, you know, I love y'all. Glory to God. Uh, verse number eight, when you said, seek my face, my heart said to you, what? God, I'm going to seek your face. Glory to God. Do not hide your face from me, Lord. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Glory to God. Do not leave me nor forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will do what? Come on, somebody shout, take me up, Lord. Lift me up, Lord. Hold me up, Lord. Glory to God. Verse number 11 says, teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me in the smooth path. Because of my enemies, deliver not, do not deliver me into the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen up against me, uh, such as breathe out violence. They so bad that when they breathe, violence come out. Glory to God. Such as breathe out violence. He says, verse number 13 I, glory to God, I love this. This is one of my favorite scriptures, glory to God. He says, what does what it say right there? Verse number 13. Have... Glory to God. Um, am I, and I, y'all know I like that King, New King James Version. But in this one, I like the King James Version. But I'm going to read what it says. I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I like what the King James Version said, uh, uh, Brother Ivory said, I would have fainted lest I believe God was going to deliver me while I'm right here. Glory to God. Not with a pie in the sky and a by and by. Glory to God. But I would have fainted if God wasn't going to come through and deliver me while I'm in the earth. I would have thrown in the towel if I didn't believe God was going to bring me out. Glory to God. Look at somebody. Tell him he's bringing you out right now. Yee, now. Now, that was then, but this is, he bringing me out now, glory to God. He said, I would have fainted, glory to God, but my confidence was strong in God. I would have fainted. Let me finish reading this scripture, y'all, that, that preach all by itself. And let me get verse number 14, glory to God. I got to get this, Elder Smith. Don't, don't, don't disturb me, Elder Smith. I'm trying to read this, huh? glory to God. He says, wait on the Lord. Tell somebody, wait, 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 wait. Tell them, don't go nowhere. Tell them, don't go nowhere. 
Don't you move. God's sending your blessing right where you are. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. Glory to God. Have confidence and he will strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Glory to God. Somebody shout, wait on the Lord. Glory to God. Y'all may take your seat. Glory to God. But I was thinking this week, glory to God, on last week what the Lord has shared with me. And as I began to look at this scripture, glory to God, as I began to look at it, as I began to deal with it, glory to God, I, I, I just... I just look like I, I just wanted to say to each one of y'all, would you look at somebody and tell them uh, my faith in God is still ferocious. Glory to God. My faith in God is still ferocious. I still have ferocious faith. Glory to God. I still know God will make a way Somehow, I still know that God will turn my situation around. I still know that God will open doors I don't even know exist. I still know that even when my enemies come against me, God will take me up. I still have. I still have a burning, fierce confidence in God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My faith in God is intense and committed because my God is compassionate. My God is caring. And my God is connected to my every emotion. Glory to God. Somebody say, why are you crying? Don't worry. God's connected there. God knows why I'm crying. God knows why I'm struggling. God knows what my faith, glory to God, is trying to get its traction because he knows I have a fierce faith in God. It's burning. Somebody shout, it's burning, it's burning. Got a burning faith in God. Yeah, glory to God. Even though I've gone through the fire, even though I've gone through the rain, even though there have been times, Lord, y'all don't know nothing about this one. Even though I, so y'all don't have to say amen because y'all don't know this. Even though I've had some times when I laid my head on the pillow and the tears were flowing, glory to God, and I was crying and I nodded off while I was crying. And when I woke up, my face was still had tear stains all over the place. Glory to God. Y'all don't know nothing about that. But even when those times uh, beset me, I still had confidence that God would bring me out. I still have a fierce faith in God. Glory to God. Fear and ferocious faith. Glory to God. Ferocious faith can be seen. Glory to God. And glory to God, especially seen uh, in many of God's children. Glory to God. But it's particularly powerful when it's expressed in those who have the gift of faith. You know, some folks have the gift of faith. Y'all don't know that? Well, since you got your Bible, open it up to 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Glory to God. Glory to God. Since you got your Bible, Elder, Elder it's good to see you. Elder Gordon, glory to God. Glory to God. Fierce faith. Fierce. Come on, somebody shout ferocious faith. Glory to God. Tell your neighbor, I still have ferocious faith. I still have faith, glory to God, uh, that the enemy can't steal from me. Glory to God. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse number 4. Glory to God talks about, and we did talk about this last year during our series where we dealt with the gift of the Spirit. Glory to God. But I want to go back just so you will remember and read it and bring back, as they say in the Bible, to your remembrance. Glory to God. That it says that, verse number four, there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. There are differences of ministries, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of activities. But it is the same God who works all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one of us for the profit of all. So the power of the Spirit of God in operating in the in operation in the gifts of the individual members is given to them, but it's not given to them for only them, it's given to them for all of us to benefit. Look at your neighbor and tell them, don't hold your gift from me. Glory to God. Look at the other neighbor and tell them, don't be stingy. Glory to God. You got a gift. God gave it to you, and you ought to operate in it. Glory to God. Turn and look at your neighbor. Just look at him. Just look at him. 
Now look back at me. Glory to God. You got to understand something here. Glory to God. That you can't be gifted. Glory to God. And then want to keep it. And then don't want to use it. Glory to God. If you were able to write, then write so we all can be blessed and encouraged. I told him this morning, if, if you know how to, maybe I said it here. If you know how to make hot water cornbread, make a hot water cornbread. I like hot water cornbread. That um, caused me to smile. Glory to God. Whatever you do, if you've been gifted to do it, do that. Talking about I don't feel, I've been singing for 20 years. I don't want to sing no more. Glory to God. How dare you tell God no? You think you're telling me no. You ain't telling me no. You said to the Lord, I don't care what you told me to do. I ain't doing it. Thank you so much. I'm going to do my best to make it plain. Test to us, glory to God. But the manifestation is for glory to God for all of us to profit. Verse number eight. For to one is given uh, the word of wisdom through the Spirit; to another, the word of knowledge through the same Spirit. Glory to God. Uh, to another, faith by the same Spirit. And so we see that there is a gift of faith. People who have faith that's just unwithering, faith that cannot be hidden. Glory to God, that can't be beat down by circumstance and life experience. Glory to God. Uh, faith that won't be beat down even when folks in the church don't want to believe you got that kind of faith. You be saying glory to God against all odds, God's going to do this. And they looking at you like, what they talking about? You can't be mad with them because they don't have your gift. To another, gifts of healing by the same spirit. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. Glory to God. To another, discerning of spirits. That's why we can see some folk coming in here and maybe, ha, ta, 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 that ain't the Lord. They just saw that on YouTube. That ain't the Lord. That ain't the same spirit. Some folks can just discern spirits. Now, we all, when we feel with the Holy Ghost, we have the sensitivity to the spirit. And we have many times God will operate such that we have people in here who have the gift to do certain things. And because they're unwilling to do it, glory to God, God will raise somebody else up to carry out the necessary assignment. Glory to God. And so they don't necessarily have the gift for that thing, but God will anoint them for that. So for the service of the hour. Can I talk to somebody? Would you look at somebody and tell them, don't hold your gift from me? Glory to God. Well, what folk, folks going to say? Glory to God. I'm not an elder. What folk going to say? I'm not a, listen, glory to God. It doesn't matter what they say. What's important is what God's going to say. But one in the same spirit works all in all, distributing to each one individually as he wills. This individual is with the gift of faith is unshakable in their confidence in God's promise, in God's power, and in God's presence. They're unshakable. Glory to God. Because they have the gift of faith. Glory to God. And without question, God's word in there is their foundation. Indeed, the word of God is the rock they stand on. Glory to God. They stand on the word of the Lord. Glory to God. When somebody got a gift and they're not operating in the word of God, glory to God, what happens? It becomes perverted. And so they do it. And there are those, glory to God, who have gifts, but they are not serving the Lord. Don't fool yourself. Glory to God. We got some prophets. Glory to God. They have the gift of prophecy, but they serve in the devil. They're serving, that they're using their gift. We have people who are able to preach. I mean, they have the gift of expounding on the word of the Lord, glory to God. But they get up there and they do it to glorify themselves and not to honor the Lord. And that's why you can't get caught up with somebody who has this great oratory skill. Because oratory does not equal anointing.
somebody I feel have ferocious faith. Yeah, I want you to understand. I, I gave you some some uh, characteristics of ferocious faith last week, but I had a couple more. The Lord dropped in my spirit. Glory to God. Uh, one of the things you can find in ferocious faith is ferocious faith is is confident faith. It's confident faith. Glory to God. Hebrew 1035 says, do not therefore fling away your fearless confidence, for it has a glorious, great reward. For you have need of patient endurance. I'm reading this out of the Amplified. To bear up under difficult circumstances without compromising. I want somebody in my life. I just have to have somebody in my life. Hey, hi, hi, how you doing? You'll do. Glory. Hi. How you doing, soldier? Yeah, I, you want to go to dinner? No. Don't compromise. Wait on the Lord. Wait, I haven't gotten there yet. Let me go back here. But wait on the Lord. Let me get on down the road. Wait on the Lord. And then be of good courage. Yeah, and he'll strengthen your heart. If you wait on God, God will send you the person that's for you. And there is somebody for you. Glory to God. He'll hear you send you somebody suitable for you both to grow in the goodness of the Lord and to enjoy one another's company and elevate and strengthen and empower one another. Compliment you. Says this in verse 37, for yet a little while and he that is who will he who is coming will come and will not delay. He that shall come will not will come. But my righteous one, the one justified by faith, shall live by faith, respecting man's relationship to God and trusting in him. And if anyone draws back, shrinking in fear, my soul has no delight in him. Let me tell you what this says. Glory to God. For, glory to God, yet a little while. And it says, he who is coming will come. He says, but my justifier, he says that the just shall live by faith. Get this. The just shall live by faith. Right? So understand that those that come to God must first believe that he is. And that he's a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. You've got to first believe that God is God. Otherwise, you won't come to God. And so when you come to God and you come by faith, glory to God, then faith, God justifies and makes you righteous. Declares you righteous. And now you've come to God, come to God, and God has declared you righteous. And he says, now that God has declared you righteous, continue to walk in faith. You were justified by faith. Stay there. Stay there. Glory to God. So ferocious faith is confident faith. And then ferocious faith, glory to God, is patient faith. Patient faith. Look at somebody tell them, wait on the Lord. And be of good courage. And he'll strengthen your heart. Wait on the Lord. Glory to God. What happens, brother Simpkins? Glory to God. What happens is, is we are patient. Glory to God. Ferocious faith stands up against everything that says God's not coming. Everything that comes to your mind that says God's not going to do it. You've been waiting a long time. You've been waiting to be married. It's been 25 years. But wait on the Lord. Because what's happening, glory to God, we don't know. But in that 25 years, God could be pulling that fella up out the gutter. And he was really he was really in, in trouble. So he had to wash him up real good. Glory to God. He had to shine the man's shoes. Glory to God. He had to sh sharpen his character. Glory to God. And so you just wait on the law. It's patient this Faith is patient and is strong enough to hold on to God even when opposition comes its way. Even when others around you are snatching up, look like they're snatching up all the good ones.
Come on, somebody shout patient faith. Glory to God. You got to wait on the Lord. God told me, God told me, God told me. If he told you he ain't going to change his mind, just wait. He that shall come will come, and he will not tarry. It says, though it tarry, it will not tarry. Even though you have to wait on it, it's going to be on time. <laughs> I got to get on down the road here. Let me hurry up. Ferocious faith is steadfast. Say that, steadfast. Ferocious faith is deliberate. Ferocious faith is determined. Come on, say that with me. Steadfast, deliberate, determined. Glory to God. Ferocious faith is steadfast, deliberate, and determined. This level of faith in God does not shrink in unbelief. and does not disappear in the face of opposition. I reminded you last week that Paul admonished Timothy to fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. And so ferocious faith being steadfast, you find it in uh, 1 Corinthians 15, 58. It says, therefore, my beloved brothers and sisters, be steadfast, unmovable. Yeah, yeah I saw somebody who knew the scripture. It was reading with me. Always excelling or abounding in the work of the Lord. Always doing your best and doing more than is needed. Being continually aware that your labor even to the point of exhaustion in the Lord is not futile nor wasted, is it never without purpose. Can I talk to somebody? It's steadfast. Glory to God. Even when it looked like glory to God, it's not working out. It's steadfast. Even when you have to walk for a period of time by yourself, it's steadfast. Then it's deliberate. Tell somebody it's attention, intentional. Glory to God. It's done on purpose. Glory to God. And so it's deliberate. Glory to God. And, and he talks about this. Glory to God. And he says, finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. When you said that this morning, Elder Smith, I said, that's one of my scriptures. Glory to God. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God. Come on, be deliberate. Be intentional. Glory to God. I'm going to be holy. I'm going to be righteous. Glory to God. I'm not going to compromise. I'm not going to try and make everybody like me because that's a futile opportunity. Glory to God. Everybody ain't going to never like you, even when they act like they do. Glory to God. Amen. So you got to understand, you got to be intentional about this thing. You got to decide, I will serve the Lord. Uh, glory to God. I will be holy. I will be righteous. Glory to God. If I got to be righteous all by myself. I'm intentional about it. Glory to God. I don't come to church just to sit here. Glory to God. And, and be like a, my daddy used to say, a bump on the log. Come here. I come here to give God praise. You, he knew my daddy. Glory to God. I come here to give God praise. I come here to clap my hands. Somebody said, you can clap your hands at home. I understand, but it just ain't the same when the saints get together. Glory to God. When the saints go to praising him. When the saints go to lifting their voice. When the saints go to shouting hallelujah. When the saints go to giving God glory. It just ain't the same. I've got a deliberate praise. It just didn't happen by happenstance or by accident. I meant to give God glory. I meant to give God praise. I meant to dance a little bit. I meant to clap my hands. I meant to sing my song. I meant to glorify God. Tell somebody I'm intentional about my praise. I'm I'm intentional. I'm, I'm serious about it. Glory to God. I don't take my praise for granted. I'm serious about it. It just don't happen. Glory to God. And when folk don't like it, oh, well, too bad. I'm going to bless the Lord. Glory to God. Hey, why are you praising the Lord so much? Why are you not praising him? Y'all kind of loud in there. Absolutely. If you know what God brought me from, a mighty long way. Glory to God. 
Glory to God. I was tore up. Glory to God. I told him in Sunday school I was hurt in the church. I was getting ready to preach. Glory to God. One night. Glory to God. And everybody we was at district meeting. I was getting ready to preach. And one of the mothers cut me. Glory to God. Just, just sliced me. Glory to God. And she said it. And it was so harsh. Glory to God. So cold. And I'm trying my best, you know, to get myself together because I got to preach. You know, it's, it's like six of us. Glory to God. And I don't know what number I was, but whatever number I was, it was difficult. I'm a young preacher. Glory to God. And, and anybody know it, when you get up to go speak in front of somebody, I don't care how long you've been preaching. Glory to God. Elder Gordon, you're in the Elder Smith, right? You're in the world. Yeah, yeah. When you get up in front of folks, glory to God. You... And even if you're not showing it on the outside, there's some stuff going on right in here. Glory to God. And then this woman, uh, glory to God, cut me, glory to God. And, 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 and what I needed to do was not fall down and give up. And No, I had a job to do, and I was intentional about it. I came here to preach, glory to God. And I'm going to preach my message. Glory to God. I came here to say a word for the Lord. And I'm going to say my word. I came here to give God glory. And I'm going to give him glory. I came here to sing my song. And I'm going to sing my song. I came here to do my dance. I'm not a great dancer. But whatever I can do, I'm going to do that because I'm deliberate. I'm complete determined. I'm going to give God glory no matter the circumstance. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. I'm going to honor the Lord with my life and my lifestyle. I'm going to give God glory in the way I conduct myself. I'm going to give God glory when folk come against me. I'm going to give God glory because I ain't cussing you out and I ain't calling you no names. I'm going to be holy when we start the conversation and I'm going to be holy when we complete it. I'm going to be holy when I walk in the room and I'm going to be holy when I go out the door. I want to represent God in every place and in every situation and everything I go through because I have a ferocious faith. It will not shrink down. It will not give up. It won't turn around because God has been too good to me. Somebody shout, God's been good to me. God's been good to me. Glory to God. Somebody said, glory to God. It, it could have been me outdoors with no food, no clothes, all alone, without a friend, just another number with a tragic end. But God, you did not let. None of these things do. Dorinda Clark sang a song some years ago. She said, I am still here. It's by the grace of God. I'm still here. Folk wrote me off out of garden, but I'm still here. Somebody said God wasn't going to do it for us, but we're still here. Look at somebody and tell them we're still here. We're still blessing him. We're still praising him. We're still giving him glory. We're still walking in the light as he is in the light. Well, you play an organ. Go ahead, man. Well, I tell you right now that God is the source of my strength. He's the strength of my life. God is. My time is up. My time is up, but I need you to know. I need you to understand that you've got to have a faith that doesn't wither just because opposition comes. You've got to have a faith that can wait on God to do what he's going to do. Because understand, uh, Glenn Jr., if God said that's the case, then while you're here, he's clearing out there. We read in Psalm 27 that he's making your path smooth. 
where he had to send out some stuff to smooth out the path so that when you got there, you'd be able to walk without tripping. And then every once in a while, he allows uh, some obstacles to come. Not to make you fall or quit, but rather to strengthen you and push you. So that when you get to the next place, the next location, to the promised destination, you got strength to stay there. But I got to tell you, if you don't master this one, you're going to do like this. Same spot. Because you haven't mastered this one. You got to go through this again until you can grow through this. And develop strength for the next season of your life. Everybody stand. You tell somebody, I still have ferocious faith. Yeah. I've got a faith. I, I hope y'all know. My friend was saying to me the other day, he said, well, superintendent, I know you're going to hang in there, but some of us going to have you, whatever was going on. In, in leadership, there was some stuff going on. And, and some things were stated, glory to God. And it was a challenge to the, the other, some of the members of the leadership team. It was a challenge. But that's what our leader is supposed to do is challenge us. Yeah, he, he challenged us. He challenged us. Glory to God. Superintendent, I, I know you're going through. I know your history. Good. Good. I'm glad you know. Because I got to tell you, glory to God. I, I wanted to tell you, well, get behind me. I'm going to pave this path, Doc. I'm going. I'm going. I made a commitment. I made, I made a, well, let me say it like mom and them say, I made a vow to the Lord. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's because of what God brought me through, uh, Sister William. Maybe it's because. God had to pull me up out of a horrible pit. Yeah. Glory to God. And some of y'all was, glory to God, didn't have no issues. And never mind. Glory to God. But I'm trying to tell you, I'm so grateful for what God has done in my life. I'm so grateful. That God couldn't have given me no greater compliment. Glory to God. Because he understood my commitment. He watched down through the years, what God has done through Solid Rock Church. You all. You all. You all. Somebody say, I've just been here uh, two weeks. You still here. You made it. Glory to God. You're helping us pave the road. Glory to God. I shared this with you before, and I'm through. Glory to God. I shared this with you, that each of us has come at a time God has designed for a season according to his purpose. Things changed in our lives. Many times we got hurt so we can make it to this place. Many times we got, you know, disappointed so we can make it to this place. Many times frustration drove us to where God wanted us to be. Glory to God. And so I just need to tell you, you're here now. Grow forward. <laughs> By your heads. Father, we thank you now for the people of God and for the word of the Lord and I pray, God, that I've said something to encourage their heart and to strengthen them for the journey that is ahead of them, to encourage them for the journey they've already taken. But to God, let them know that every step of the way, you're ordering their steps. You're ordering their steps in your word. And so God calls us to surrender to your will and not shirk away from the difficulties that are in our path, but rather to grow through them so that we're stronger when we arrive at the next destination. Bless us now, God. Bless us now, God. Help us to be unified. Help us to be one. Help us to be, God, patient with one another. Help us to extend grace to our brothers and sisters. Help us, God, to be merciful and caring and kind 
Help us to be thankful for all that you've done. Remind us, God, of what you brought us from, but where you're taking us to. And thank you, God, for each of these under the sound of my voice. Come on, give God a praise if you'll do it.